Hello. Hello, this is a free piston Stirling engine. Free piston because the piston is not connected to a crankshaft via conrods. Instead it oscillates as driven by the pressure inside the engine uh, from a gas spring. The gas does expand and contract. The displacer is also um, driven by oscillation from a spring. The uh, heater, heating method is at the top, is a heater band. The wooden plinth behind the tower is previous uh, uh, construction to allow a gas torch to be used. But with the electrical heater band, um, consistency of measurement is uh, made easier. It was originally built by Julian Wood and it ran very happily for 10 plus years, but then started to develop some faults. So Dennis Cowdery took it on and we have the engine here now. Shortly I will start it. Hello, I've now been heating the engine for about 3 minutes 40 seconds and we'll start it when it gets to the 4 minute mark. I will put a, a, an aluminium hat on the top because it keeps the temperature in and the temperature rises a bit better but I'm now getting to four minutes, so I'll start trying to oscillate it and get it to start. There it goes. I'm not sure about the frame rate of this video, but uh, the oscillation is about eight and a half, nine hertz, and it's, um, the amplitude is about 0.25 millimeter sorry 2.5 millimeters so this is what i call low mode because the interesting feature that i have found is that there are two modes for this sterling engine it can operate here as in low mode low amplitude and low frequency but after about minute eight uh, it varies a bit uh, it changes mode so i will break the, the videoing and restart round about minute eight or eight and a half. This is minute six and a half and I'll try and zoom in to see whether I can show you the amplitude and the oscillation rate. Maybe this will work, maybe it's not too clear. But the large metal circular things are in fact two magnets. Uh, so you can put a coil and make some electricity from this. But you will see there are two springs down the bottom. Uh, one is just to stop over striking and the other one, which is smaller and in, inside, is for the displacer. Right, there it was. It flipped uh, just on minute 15. It is now in high oscillation mode and it did it within about a second or so. And um, I will zoom in a bit on the springs at the bottom. And also, I don't know about the frame rate as to whether you can see that the oscillation is definitely bigger. It's about 7.5 millimetres as opposed to 2.5 millimetres. And the frequency is about 13 hertz, not 8.5 or 9. So quite a dramatic change. And I am told that because the springs on the, the spring on the displacer and the gas spring on the piston represent a coupled a pair of coupled oscillators and these have two modes of stability and we seem to be able to demonstrate it with this engine and I'd like to ask the question is this true of all three piston sterling engines that they have two stable modes of operation I will now follow over follow on with a graph or two showing the measurements of the uh, temperature and the oscillation rate but uh, clearly this engine has slow speed and high speed it is a two speed three piston sterling engine hello the red line on this graph shows the temperature of the hot cap the scalars on the left hand side in centigrade along the bottom is the time and you can see that at minute four when the temperatures got up to about 65 centigrade the blue line shows that the engine has started oscillating and started quite sharply and rose up looking at the right hand scale side at 10 hertz the scale on the right is hertz times 10. so at minute four it started oscillating and uh, it declined slightly to nine and a half but uh, it's steady 
And at minute 12, it flipped up to 13 and a half um, for Hertz. Now I have seen this engine start at 8 minutes. In the video it started at 15 or was it 16? But then it stayed at 13 and a half Hertz for quite a while. And uh, then it began to decline. Right by minute 15, something else is breaking out, which is the gripping of the Roulon piston when the cylinder that uh, it binds. So the Roulon expands a bit faster than the cylinder, and eventually at minute 19, it seized. So that's the problem of having a, a Roulon piston. But this graph clearly shows that there are two stable modes of operation. And I have on other runs decreased the heat after minute 13 and seen it flip back down to nine and a half. And even on one or two occasions, increase the heat again and see it flip back up to 13 and a half. So this is very clearly a stable and repeatable phenomenon. Thank you.